Hey everyone, this is Player One. And this is Player Two. And we're coming to you with one of my favorite videos to do, which is the Black Friday pickups. Yes, and this is going to be a two-parter because we got so much stuff that some of it hasn't come in the mail. Yeah, so. I'm still waiting for at least almost, almost if not complete half of what I've ordered in the mail. Me too, I've so got a lot of stuff a in the one. mail. I've got a lot of stuff in the mail and a lot of stuff that's still coming uh, from stores and stuff like that. So we got to make a video and we want to push someone push this video out as soon as possible so you guys can see what we got I hope you guys are excited as we are because I, I can't wait to play these games so with that said I'm gonna go out first I got these games in the buy to get one free from GameStop and we're not promoting any businesses so I want to be upfront with that we're not sponsored or anything but we're just like you guys we got a uh, they had a promotion for buy to get one free and I took advantage of it so I got some of these games I got men in black uh, alien crisis enchanted arms Time Crisis, uh, Raising Storm, and Blaze Blue. Now, for me, I've been wanting to play this game for a long time because I have the motion controls, and I've always liked this actually playing at Dave and Buster's and stuff like that. So, oh yeah, the old school Time Crisis. Yeah, and this so, one includes a uh, four, which is actually pretty good. Yeah, um, I used to love games like this and House of the Dead and stuff like that. So, I saw it, and it was a no-brainer. Now, these are not the prices I paid, of course, but. It was a buy to get one free. Now this one I don't know anything about, but it does use the motion control. So I'm I've kinda... seen it. It's kind of the same like Time Crisis. It, it's it's one of those um what do you call them? Like um 3D shoot 'em ups. So or... not, not not 3D shoot 'em ups. It's like Time Crisis where you just sit kind of sit there and you're on a like a I don't know what it's called. Man, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, me too. But anyway, <laughs> I, I I still want to play it because I I think it's fun. I saw a little bit of it on YouTube and. It got my interest. Now, Blaze Blue, I've always loved the Blaze Blue saga. I love playing it. Um, it's one of my. Go ahead. Is it Blaze Blue? It's Blaze Blue, right? I say Blaze Blue. Blaze I mean, Blue sounds cooler. I, that's what I say. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comment section. As you can see, I'm a little bit excited because I can't wait to play these games. But Enchanted Arms, I have nothing. It, I know a little bit about it. It's basically an RPG. It's, it's a it's a little bit of an old school RPG, so it's a little older. Like it's a little bit slower turn based, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if you if you like it because I know you're big into the Tales kind of RPG. I it's am, like and I am, and I'm kind of getting back into the old games. Um, I, recently, I actually played Kingdom Hearts and some old Dragon Quest games, so I'm kind of trying to get back to the to my roots again. But yeah, I, I didn't know anything about this game, and Player One kind of. Just told me go out and get it. It's a little yeah, bike to get one free. It's worth owning, I think. Yeah. So, this is my four. Right, so so far. So let me uh, bust out four as well then. A little weird packaging for one of them specifically. So here are four games I picked up: uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles: Mutants in Manhattan, Bound by Flame, Knack, and Final Fantasy 15. So not all these games are incredible. Off the bat. We pretty much all know that, that uh, the Munis in Manhattan was, was kind of garbage. That's, yeah, that's, that's the I was, word around town. I was disappointed know? because I actually was one of the people that went out and wanted to buy it first because I'm a huge Ninja Turtle fan. Yeah, me too. In fact, uh, I don't. here's a spoiler to you guys. There's a big Ninja Turtle oh, that's title right. that's coming for you guys in the second part of the Black Friday. And I know you guys are going to enjoy it if you love Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I'm not talking about the new movies. I'm talking about the traditional... The, the good turtles. Yes. Yeah. So, um, But as far as... I, mean, I, I got it because I've heard that it's, it's going to be... Not that they've either they've lost their license or they stopped the printing. So you kind of have to pick it up if you just want to have it. And there's a collector. I kind of want to have it. You can see it's sealed. It'll probably stay sealed. Because I, I, don't, I don't see myself playing it anytime soon. Well, I, I played it. It's just that it was very disappointing. Kind of like the Transformers. I love the G1 Transformers uh, version, but it's just kind of, they've kind of become disappointing. Yeah, Planet and Games, until near near Automata probably is the one that started bringing it back. But before that, exactly. they've been kind of on a... I mean, they've done some bad games. This one, I didn't yeah. really like the Transformers too much devastation. I, I loved the aesthetic of it, but I didn't necessarily love... Uh, that it was just kind of like a fighting game, very repetitive, repetitive environments. It just didn't feel top class game. The Star Fox, <laughs> oh, that's, yeah, that's yeah. horrible. So again, well, whatever. But I wanted to pick it up, and I got it cheap. So, Bound by Flame is a kind of an RPG. It's a remake, or not a remake. I guess a remaster of the one on 360 and PS3. 
nothing real crazy, nothing epic about it, but it's kind of like a mediocre RPG. But I want to pick it up. I got it for a bite to get you know, free. I will tell you, I'll jump into Knack. I picked this one up for five dollars a while ago, and I'm not expecting much, but I was kind of entertained. Yeah, it's kind of like a like a little platformer slash action kid. I don't want to say kid game necessarily. Anybody can play. It. But I, you know, I this is one of those games that I never really played on the PS4, and I know people have always been asking to get it free during that PSN, like PS Plus, whatever they call it. But I never got it, and I I tried the demo for an Act Two, and I kind of liked it. So I decided to pick up Part One because it was cheap. Well, now you've mentioned about the PS PSN and the free games. You know, even though I do get some of the free games because I do pay for the you know the yearly membership. I still do buy them physically because I know that the day comes that I'm not paying for that, these games are not going to be on my hard drive anymore. Plus, I'm curious. Nobody has really talked about what's going to happen the day they take the PS3 offline. Are we just going to lose all those games? Yeah, That's exactly. That's something to think about. So, to me, I, 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 I love the free games, but they're basically as long as you're paying the... the they're yours as long as you're paying the, the yearly subscription. So I still buy them physically because I always want to have a physical copy. Yeah, I, I agree with you, man. And if you guys been watching the videos, you guys know that I'm a huge proponent of those physical games. I love that. Yeah. So So lastly, we have a red box. Got this cheap $9.99 Final Fantasy 15. Obviously, I'm not a fan of not having the case. But at the same time, I have to be completely honest. Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy 15 is one of those games that I think it just wasn't what it could have been. I feel it was a disappointment. To this day, it's not complete. They're just releasing a multiplayer. They never really finished the story because I have seen a couple spoilers and Player 2 knows more about it that he's kind of let me in on it. And the truth is, it's just, I don't think it's worth a huge amount of money. I, now, I don't see them doing a, a complete edition anytime soon. There has been no word about it. Maybe I'll, I, if that ever comes out, I'll finally have the true ending. Who knows, but I figure for ten dollars just to kind of play it, I pick it up since Redbox was having a special. Yeah, that, that that's a pretty good deal because I actually bought mine a long time ago, so I bought it for a little bit more than that. But I've been waiting for the the actual PC version, and I'm kind of a little bit scared because they've had a, they've had a track record uh, as far as Square Enix of releasing PC ports that are not really yeah. optimized. We were just talking about Nier Automata. Yeah, it's exactly. a great game, but the PC port is a mess. You know? So I, I'll wait. If they're gonna do any um, collector's edition, edition? yeah. Well, I think next year's coming out the PC 4K kind of version of it, but I don't know. So my next uh, pile. Whoa, dude. Yes. Split um, it up if you want, cause that's a lot. Yeah, I'll split it up. Oh god, oh, I'm, I'm gonna vomit. I'm gonna vomit. Oh, oh, I feel it. I feel the bile. Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, if Let's I can start with it. the good ones. Let's start with the good ones before we get to the others. All right, so. Of course, this is a Black Friday list, so it's not just video games. There are video games that I want to show you, but I wanted to get through this pile first. Now, some of these movies are not great, but what was great is their price on Black Friday. Now, I have a 3D TV, and so I love 3D TV. Yeah, me too, man. It's, it's, I think it's a, it's a sad thing that it's kind of died out because yes, it, it had potential. For me, the 3D TV has been fantastic. I love it. I love watching 3D movies. So. I've bought as many 3D movies as I can, so I'll start from the right going to the left. Starship Troopers Trader of Mars is not a 3D movie, but I really enjoyed the movie and I love the CG Starship Trooper movies. I've always loved the lore behind Starship Troopers. That, you know, I thought that one was okay. The, the other one was really, well, the, was it the first one, right? Uh, yeah, Invasion of... Uh, that one was really good to see Rico kind of kick ass like years later. Yeah, I love... He's like a general. I, I didn't like that one as much, man. I like this one because it shows... It takes place right after the previous one, which is great. So you get to see what happened to Rico. And no, I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but I like the story. And, I, and I've always loved Star Trek Troopers. So to me, it was a, a fun movie. And... They were selling it for $9.99 in 4K, even though I don't have a 4K TV, but it does have the Blu-ray, and so I just save it for later. The second one I want to talk about is Immortals 3D. Henry Calvo in this movie, I liked him in this movie, and I love the lore about, you know, the whole gods of Olympus and, and there's everything. Some cool, there's some cool scenes in that. There are some cool scenes, yeah. and I believe this one was $5.99. No, sorry. For a uh, 3D, that's pretty good, man. Usually the 3D movies are kind of expensive. Yeah, it, actually, I'm, no, I'm, I'm going to take that back. It was $6.99 for the 3D Blu-ray movie, and it brings the, the Blu-ray and the 3D Blu-ray movie, so I wanted to see it again in 3D. So, with that said, um, Men in Black, the trilogy. I mm -hmm. always... 
I like it, but uh, not. I, I'm I'm torn. I really didn't like part two. I love part one and part three. I kind of like had but... its moments. It's just that their villains suck, man. Yeah, their the villain... villains are the worst part of I think the Men in Black series. The characters are good. I really like them. Um, I don't know the guy's name. The guy who's Thanos now. Um, um I that, forget... that actor that played yes. that played well, the, what the made... older version. Like, what made... Good acting, man. You know exactly. So what made part three enjoyable was that actor who's yeah. who's voicing Thanos. Um, in part three, he played a, a younger agent, Agent K. Yeah, K. So it was fun to see him. He actually got the character down. Got it down packed. It was yeah. really good. Now another one I want to talk about is this is Pre cool. Yes, this Predator cool. three. I have yet 3D. to see. Yes, I have yet to see it in three D. Oh, I want to see that. We should check that out. Yeah, I have yet to see it in three D. So I don't know how it's gonna look, but I'm a huge Predator fan. I love Predator one. I love Predator two. Um, the Predator vs. Alien, the first one, eh, garbage. The Recream, I liked it more, but it wasn't great. But I liked it more than the first AVP. But I've been a huge Predator fan. Right. I love. Here's a question. So, I, I really like this one, and I really like Predator 2. Which one do you like more? Well, see... They both have really good stuff. I have to lean a little bit towards Predator 2 because it took place more in the city. Okay. But I do understand the roots because it was in the jungle and it made sense. So it's kind of hard. I kind of like them both the same because Danny Glover and Arnold was Schwarzenegger, was that, they that were time. both fantastic. Was that the 90s or 80s? 90s, right? I think the part two was in the 90s and this part one. late 80s? Or? or maybe early 90s. I forget the, the date. But I, I, they were two fantastic characters they were both good like roles to fight against the predator yes and i liked part two a lot because it expanded the universe yes and you know? and, and really whereas part one is more like he's the muscle and you know it's more about bronze and outsmarting the predator part two danny glover is not really stronger than a predator no, no. he's just smarter he, he he's just he's, he, he fights smart yes he does and that's that's great about the, you know leave the us movie. in the comments below if you've if you've seen this because i realize we talk about this but i don't know if the younger crowd has checked out the predator movies. oh if you have the recent ones the recent ones haven't really been all that great but the original predator and predator 2 is something you got to see it you just got to see it you have to see it i mean if you haven't checked it out you must see it yeah. oh here you must see it <laughs> yeah and, and so leave us a comment below if you've seen any of these movies but i'm, I'm interested in predator because i don't know if it's still considered cool or not you know what i mean mm-hmm all right, so what else? So I got Gods of Egypt in 3D. Uh, that that's another one I bought on the cheap uh, through Best Buy on Black Friday. So I know a lot of people don't like it, and it's not the greatest story in the world. But I love Jared Butler. <laughs> that and guy is the man of just being a douche. Yes, that's what he should be, just like a tough guy douche, man. Yeah. That's, that's... Ever since I saw him as Leonidas in 300, he he has like grown on me as a as an actor. Like I love his movies. I love Olympus Has Fallen. I love. Um, London has fallen and so forth. Yeah, those, those so, are good. I like I like this movie. I like the lore, and I want to see it in 3D. Now let's move to right, Polly. Hold on, I'm getting dizzy. Now let's I move feel, to. I feel convulsions. Yeah. Now let's move to the worst movie of the bunch, in my eyes. Batman How much did v you Super pay for that, man? Well, here's the thing. How much did you pay for that? I paid three dollars for this movie. That's how oh, bad man. it was. I don't know. But here's the thing, guys. This movie has slowly become like one of those bad movies that I just love to watch sometimes and it's I don't know if it's because I'm a masochist or what punishing myself it's such a bad movie that I like to watch it and it's sad because Henry Cavill to me is the definitive Superman this guy right here disgusting disgusting you just fast forward on the scenes yeah exactly he's not I mean she Nita, kind of passes for what she does, but she yeah, do she's yeah, she's she's okay as Wonder Woman, but, but Henry Cavill is, is is he's kind of the Superman. He's not the old school Superman where it's kind of like cheesy. He's like the like kind of like the modern badass Superman. He really portrays that character. Yes, and, and I, that that's where it's sad to see where the movies have gone and destroyed them. Those I, I, DC is pretty much done. Yeah, I, I I'm not. I didn't go see Justice League because I think it looks like crap. But to me, the, that. Batman. I mean, Batman. Ben Affleck is not Batman. He he's not a great actor. He his portrayal as Batman was horrible. I mean, I think Batman is. How can you mess up that? I mean, Batman is hard. I get it. You have to have a good character. And coming out of Christian Bale, it's really hard to get solidified. But Ben Affleck was a horrible choice. 
And then you have to con- contend with Lex Luthor. Oh yeah, Lex Luthor. I hate Lex Luthor more than I do the Batman. Well, man. see, here's the problem. I let this that kid, I forgot his name. Jeez, man. Jesse Eisberg or whatever his name is. But here's Jesse the thing. Jesse Eis- Eisenberg, isn't that like? I I don't remember. But here's the thing. To me, I love Batman as a character in the comics. I've of read course, Batman he's, comics. He's probably books. one of the best heroes there is. Yes, and and to me, it, it was a horrible portrayal because he is literally the world's best detective. He got, for some reason, Lex Luthor knew the, both of their identities before they, before anything. He knew his identity off the bat. So did Batman know his identity. So it's, it's just like dumb. It was it, bad it was writing, bad writing, bad acting, bad cuts. There's even a cut of the bat, the bat plane flying off right after Superman, and they show the lights on the warehouse where he's trying to re- rescue Superman's mom, which reminds me that That's was such a horror thing. Yeah. thing. So. He's in the, he's in a different location showing the lights, but they cut to the, all of a sudden the lights being in the in the warehouse. That is a bad cut. If you guys remember, see it, you guys out. know what what I mean. But moving on, uh, right. War of the Planet of the Apes. Now we have some conflict here because yeah, we fought I, about this quite a bit. I and I bought it in 3D, so again I love my 3D movies. I like the movie. I don't think it was a good ending for the the tale of Caesar. Uh, of the ending of the trilogy, I don't want to say more, but yeah, we, I don't, that would be a spoiler to really talk about it. Yeah, it was a great movie. I love what they've done with the CG. I, you can definitely connect with the apes and their story and everything that's going on. It's a good start, but I didn't like the ending as the as a trilogy. So I'll leave it as that. I'm pretty sure Player One agrees with me on the. I agree with everything you're saying. I think my biggest problem was it was a rehash of Part Two. I lo- the CG is incredible. Frankly, I think the apes act, act better than the humans. They really sell those parts. They're beautiful acting, beautiful CG work. Everything's great. But War of Planet of the Apes? No, no. This is like skirmish, if that. It's not yeah, really the war. And now from this, I, without giving a spoiler away, this kind of, you know, this is a, a conclusion of a trilogy. No, they, they messed up. They just messed they up. They did. No it's not really it. a this war. This was like a spin-off kind of thing. It really wasn't. Really yeah. Cool. It, it, it is a great, it is a good movie. You guys got to see it, but it yeah, is not I think a it's war. Worth seeing. It's better than most movies that have been coming out lately. So, yeah. So that's it for me. As No, well, that's not it in regards to movies, but that's it in regards to my turn. All right. I'm just going to bring up three games right now. I'm going a little bit retro. Got two PS2 and one Xbox. Uh, TNA Impact. Total, what is it? Non-stop action wrestling. I've never, I don't even know what that is. Front Mission 4 and GoldenEye Rogue Agent. So, I don't know what TNA is. I, I've never watched TNA, but I know Sting, because I used to love WCW as a kid. Um, and that's just that's just the character. And then I figured, hey, it was a couple bucks. I got it like at a thrift store. Um, I don't know what TNA is. Though. I guess that's another version of WCW or WWE or something. Whatever. Maybe, Did you ever yeah. watch that? No, I don't even remember TNA. But you know Sting. Yes, of course. Of course, thing. Back, I used to think he was awesome, and as I got older, I'm like, wait a second, you just kind of copied the crow, the you know, crow, the yeah. crow. But either way, whatever, cool character. Front Mission Four. So Front Mission is one of those fantasy series for me because, and I, I guess that's the wrong word, but I'm trying to say is I've always been excited about Front Mission, and I've never really had a chance to really play the games because I kind of want to want to collect them all. I've wanted to go, and I, I tend to want to do that. I don't like starting the games like halfway or, or whatever the case is. I want to go through them in order, but I haven't been able to find I, There's one on DS that I haven't been able to find. There's some other ones, and so I'm waiting to be able to get them and then get into them. But I'm, I, I really like the whole, you know, mech warrior thing in this situation. Oh, I love mechs, man. I but love... this is more like a strategy game, I think, is the whole thing. Yeah, but me, I love everything mechs. Uh, hence the fact that I collect Gundams. Yeah, it's true. So You never show one of your Gundams, by the way. You just show your build. Oh, yeah. Like if you guys Let us see... know, yeah. Yeah, let me know if you guys want to see one of my Gundams built, or even like a time lapse video. I'll be more than happy to put that yeah. up. Yeah, that's cool. So the last one is Goldeneye Rogue Agent. That's kind of a weird title. It's it's 007, like the original Goldeneye, but I think like a side story if Gold, if James Bond turns evil, and so you become the villain instead of the hero. I've heard it's not a great game, but that's always kind of interesting to be able to play through. Like imagine the whole story of like a hero story but turned as villain. So, so moving along with mine, oh. so I kind of wanted to rough next. Yes. So moving along with the whole emphasis of Starship Troopers, I kind of got this. Now, they're not complete, 
There's actually eight of them. If you want to complete the complete Jeez. collection, I used to watch this Me too. nonstop religiously. I love the again. I love the lore behind Starship Troopers. Starship Troopers could have been amazing. It was they messed up a little bit the cheesiness, but the when they got into like that the what is it, not animated? It was like CG cartoons, which yeah. is like in line with Beast Wars and all those '90s cartoons that were awesome. These got really good, man. The yes, story for these were really, really, really good. So if you guys have ever seen this, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, you have got to see the series now. They're a little bit old by now because the CG work sure. is is not as great as some of the CG right now. But think of more along the lines of the Beast Wars. Right. But the story is great. It, it, just to give you a, a heads up. Of course, they're fighting the bugs, but it expands on the universe. They find other alien races that have been taken over by the bugs. The bugs are not as stupid as they think. Of course, they have a queen, but they also have fleets, and they have. Um, and they're intelligent. They're, they're intelligent. They're mind controlling and everything. Exactly. It's and pretty also, as the series goes on, you find out that the actual bugs, they are actually conquering the 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 galaxy or the universe, but. It is a very good tale. It has, of course, Rico and the Roughnecks, and it and expands that, on the universe. Is that the one from the movie? Uh, Do you know where it starts? I don't remember. If well, it starts. I know this. Um, it's kind of hard. I forget how it starts, but they have eight, eight of them. It's Trackers, Tesca Campaign, Tophet Campaign, Pluto, Clindathu, which you have. They have Homefront. They have Hydra, and I think there's one more. I keep on forgetting the name. Um, but they're great there's eight of them now if you guys want to collect these the best thing I can tell you is I got all these used through Amazon and they're great sometimes you can find them cheap like separately each one separately each one I bought uh, some of them for four dollars I bought some of them for five oh, okay. and stuff like that however I do want to warn you guys there is a complete collection which brings all of them however there's stuff missing in that one, so do not get that one if you want to oh, have Oh, it's one of those where you have to get a separate, like the Ghostbusters? Yes, kind of like the Ghostbusters, the animated cartoon, where they have like a, a complete collection that supposedly brings all of them, but there's episodes missing. If you really want to have all the episodes, you've got to get them separately, unfortunately, oh, because when they re-release them, they put them in a, in a, I guess, in a box set, and the box set is missing stuff. So it's sad, but this is the best way to get them if you want to have a completest or a complete collection. So I've got, as you can see, five. I'm missing three, and I'm intending I'm getting those those three. Another thing on the side note, something I haven't gotten yet, and I do want to get. If you guys know, I have been trying to get uh, Space Ghost Coast to Coast. Oh, I remember that seeing as a yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah. So I'm a huge. I don't I guess, remember that they have a plot. It was just like jokes and it's antics. Jokes and antics and, and like the Brack Show, Space Ghost. I've been wanting to get those. And so I love those old. I grew up with that. So I love that show and, and these shows. So let us know in the comments below if there's any cartoon that you remember growing up with that now you really wish you could, like, or either you want to get a copy of it or, or you have nostalgia feelings because of it. I'm yeah, curious because so. I know for us, we grew up more or less the same time. So we kind of have the same cartoons. But I, I, I don't know if. Cartoons are not as cool as they used to be. That's what I feel. No, they're not. You know I mean? They're not. And and really, I enjoyed like a, besides these, I enjoyed like Beast Wars. If I go a little bit further back in time, GI Joe, um, Transformers, of course, G One, uh, Ninja Turtles, the original cartoons. Even the uh, old X Men, the Spider Man, they would do the crossovers. Exactly. And all that. Uh, Hulk. Spider Man. Uh, the Batman animated yeah. series. No. I even enjoyed uh, the when Disney was out with Darkwing Duck. That's right, yeah. Um, I enjoyed like uh, Centurions. So I, I, I won't get into it, but go ahead. <laughs> All right. So I got four games here. Uh, on PS2, we have Twisted Metal, Black, Path of Ma Matrix, Path of Neo, which I already own like I think twice over. Red Steel and and Xbox Live Three Pack, Trial, which has Trials, Limbo, and something else. Uh, so real quick about all of them. I haven't played this before. I played Twisted Metal, but not this one. I don't know really anything about it beyond the fact that it's a twisted, twisted, a twisted, twisted metal metal game. Matrix: Path of Neo. I got this on the Xbox because I heard the you know the Xbox uh, it ran the best I think on that console. I have it on the PS2 already. This is one of those games where like. Oh wait, wait, no, this is not Enter the Matrix. No, it's not. I oh, was I've just never wondering. played this one then. 
know that. Oh, I don't know then. Okay, so let me know down in your comments below if you know about this game. I've never played Path of Neo. I'm thinking about Enter the Matrix, which I really enjoyed do, like, doing all the cheat codes and all that. I don't I haven't played this yet. Do you know anything about this? Um, it's no? about Neo. <laughs> it's about Neo? Alright, whatever. Uh, Red Steel. Wait a minute. Is this the one that, and I don't, I don't know if you know, but is this the one that you actually fight Agent Smith? No, that's... Becoming or is that Into the Matrix at the you end? No, now I'm confused. I'm confused I, too. I don't remember. I remember playing one at the end where you fight like the big thing made out of construction parts and all that. Well, yes, that's the. I think that's Into the Matrix. Is it? I think so. I don't remember. Whatever. Regardless, uh, I'm gonna check that out. Red Steel, not the best, even far from the best Wii game. But it's one of those games that I, I picked up when I first bought the Wii, and I kind of sold it back. I don't know what happened. And I've never got another copy of it. I have Red Steel 2, which is kind of an improvement from the original Red Steel. And you know, I just wanted to get it again, play through it, and maybe review it for the channel. And then this again, the real only reason I got this is because I want a physical copy of Limbo. It, excuse me. And this Trials game is basically like a bicycle kind of uh, like trickster game. So no big deal. I just want to kind of pick it up. Kind of sad that this isn't the, this isn't the real uh, case. So moving on up, I've got some classics. Um, oh! So, yes. So, I'm gonna start from the right. So we got two WCW. Uh, I got these all at the thrift shop. Uh, sorry, I can't even pronounce it right. At the thrift store. Oh wow! And I got them. They all have the manuals. They all. Nice. If you can see, they're in good condition. So, WCW uh, Mayhem and WC WCW Nitro. I think I played. I think I own Mayhem on the N64. I remember playing, I think it's that one, I, I played a ton of it. Well, I haven't played these, but I do love WCW, and I'm going to enjoy playing these over the break, but, over the Christmas break, but here's the thing, I actually have a story behind this. Besides the fact that I used to love WCW, and Sting was one of my favorite characters, and so I used to have... He was a man. Yeah, you know, yeah, he's my favorite character. Second one is probably, it's either Goldberg or Hulk... Uh, maybe even um, what's his name the the guy with the mask well they all have masks practically um, Rey Mysterio oh the, Rey the Mysterio. little guy yeah the little guy you remember um, we were hanging out once in a Barnes Nobles and we saw Norman Smiley yes yes it Ooh. was I don't know if you guys uh, leave us a comment if you know but there's there was this character called Norman Smiley and he was like a punk he was like a little like like he's a regular fighter but he was like a jokester and he would dance like like really funny and be like a, a clown. But in person, that guy was freaking huge, man. He was like a wall. Dude, he's, <laughs> this guy had not even an ounce of fat. And he, he was wearing a Speedo with like a t-shirt. And yeah. he looked like a scary dude, man. Yeah. It was so, crazy. But anyway. But go ahead. So I actually went to a Nitro series. Um, and I actually went to another another one. I forget. I think it was... Night, I think it was Nitro, Nitro, the Monday Nitro, I think. So uh, Sting actually came down, and I got to see Ric Flair, and I got to see Hulk fight him. And one of the things that I will, I'll never forget, and this is kind of like weird, but it's funny at the same time. I'm enjoying the show, and they actually take Ric Flair. Uh, the Hulk actually beats him up, and at the last minute, Ric Flair kind of falls down, and the Hulk grabs him by the by the waist. And his pants fall, and everybody gets to see his ass crack, and everybody's oh, laughing. Yeah, that was like part of the gimmick. Yeah, yeah, that was part of the gimmick. And you know, Ric Flair, he stands up and he goes do do do, and he falls like that. That was his signature move. But wherever, whenever he got yeah, beat up, yeah. but it was funny. I enjoyed it, so I got I remember this. It brings nostalgia. Now, this, That's I watched this show religiously. Me too, man. I love Beast Wars. Beast Wars and Trans Metals. I feel like define my childhood not just a cartoon I used to love playing with the toys those Beast Wars toys are some of the best Transformer toys I've ever had yes. they were so elaborate the transformations it, it was I would awesome. say besides G1 Beast Wars is, the, is probably the best contender for the best Transformer toys out there because the transformations the parts everything was Outrageous! It was just like like you're transforming the real character from, yeah, the, from the none show. of this garbage that you get today it was literally like awesome. parts it's the like jazz metals were shiny and everything I it's like it. having they were like having like uh you have the optimus uh i think it's the master edition it's kind of like that it's they're so good as toys and the series expanded upon it very good the, the ending was really good to the series before yes. they wanted to beast machines which wasn't that great beast machines was but, garbage but but <laughs> the end of this series like it was really good. It was sad, man, seeing everything that happened. It was I, good. I loved it. was it. like a good battle. I loved it. 
So, moving on, I got Rainbow Six. Um, I have, I've played some of the Rainbow Six, I actually played Vegas, so I don't know too much about this one, but again, it's a Rainbow Six series, uh, I'm gonna probably have fun with that. Now, Rainbow Six Vegas, Ooh, this is old school, man. Yeah, it is old school. Rainbow Six Vegas, I got for the PSP. Now, I have the PSP and I have a ton of games for it, so to me, have another game for the PSP is, is a welcome addition because I think the PSP and the Vita are one of those systems are two of those systems that literally are going to be hidden gems in the years to come because they're such a great system. And even, um, in fact, talking about that, I have some Vita games here, so I can't wait to show you. But I love the the PSP and the PS Vita, and it, and this is just another great hidden gem for me. All right. So with with that, Layer One's going to show right, you. So what comes next is a a ridiculously high amount of Switch games. So, as you guys know, I got the Switch as a, as a gift to my family. So I ended up getting a bunch of games. Now, something weird happened. Some of these games, you see the stickers are from Walmart. Something happened to Toys R Us. I don't want to talk too much about it. But long story short, there, were an incredibly, there was an incredibly good deal. Yes. An incredibly good deal. I'll just put this. I don't have a Switch yet, and even I bought some Switch games. Yeah, because... I don't want to show them here because, again, they're the same games. Uh, we will just be repeating it, but... The actual Switch, uh, Toys R Us had a, a coupon deal, and supposedly that coupon deal ended up giving you the Switch games at a ridiculously low price, and it ended up going through because I went to the store and I and I got them. Yeah, so so, so always keep on top of that, and you know, if not, bitch, <laughs> yeah. bitch to customer service and see what you can do. But regardless, let me go through them, there's a lot of them, here's four right off the bat. Um, Let's start from the right. Uh, the Binding of Isaac, Aftermath, Cave Story, Rayman Legends Definitive Edition, and Lego Worlds. So a little bit about each. This is kind of one of those games I'm late to the party uh, for The Binding of Isaac. I know a little bit about it. It's kind of a weird game. It's a little bit disturbing. The whole thing is your mom is trying to kill you because she's like a, a religious fanatic and you're hiding in the basement. There's a bunch of demons and monsters in the basement. It's one of those rogue kind of a... Uh, uh, random, what do they call it? Random process? We're like random generated, ran, ra randomly generated little dungeons. It's a cool game, way overpriced, and that's one of the, my problems with the Switch. Way overpriced to bring these games that you can get for ten bucks for fifty bucks. It's ridiculous. Yeah, but that's but a whole other conversation. I'll tell you this much: this sale was so good. Yeah, I, didn't... I agree. I agree. Yeah. Um, so that's that's the Binding of Isaac. Cave Story, Cave Story is kind of, it's on the 3DS, but this one's like the, the definitive edition, and I haven't played much of it. I played just a little bit just to try it, and I fell in love with it right away. The music is awesome. It just hits every fine point of a good retro type uh, game, so I really like that. Now, these two games I'm less happy about, and it, I haven't opened them. I'm Honestly, I may not even keep them because I was a little disappointed. First, Rayman Legends. So Rayman Legends is a pretty good game, nothing fancy, a good platformer, it looks great. Supposedly, this is the definitive edition, but that is not quite accurate. No, no, and I will, I will jump in on that. If you guys want the definitive edition, I would suggest going with a PS4 or if you have an Xbox One, God knows why, but um, <laughs> on, going that route. <laughs> Look, I'm an, I love Xbox, but whatever. Anyway, go with the with the console versions because this one, for some reason. It's the loading times are worse than the PS Vita, um, and the and for some reason there it's got issues. It's got issues. It's, it's just got not, issues. It's just not a definitive version. No, it's even, not. Even the Wii U version is a little bit better. Yes, if so, you do have a Wii yeah. U, then that's another version that you should get. So as far as Lego Worlds is, I just kind of picked that up on on kind of impulse. I don't really know much about it. I don't expect it to be all that great, which is why I'm kind of I have to see a couple of reviews and see what it's like. But I picked that up anyway because when I went to I, this was at Walmart. When I went there, people were storming the Switch games. It was like, see, like freaking out. To me, it was the opposite. The Walmart that I went to, nobody had noticed the Switch games, and I was like, I was like a, a an addict on crack because I was like, oh, these games are cheap. Let me get them now. If I get a Switch during the year, I already already have the games. But I did get Lego Worlds, and well, I you opened. Tried it yet? No, I didn't try it, but I've seen some videos of it, and I'm on the fence as well whether I'm gonna keep it or not. Okay. But anyway, um, I'll go ahead and I'll put my other games. So, I got these games. Now, 
this actually, I got I got these games before Black Friday, but I was holding on to them to make a, a video, and this is the best case scenario I, I can give you guys. I bought these on Amazon Warehouse, and for oh, some yeah, reason... I've heard that's pretty good. Every yes. once in a while they have good sales. Yes, they do. Once in a while they do have a good sale, and I was really surprised that I was able to get... I bought these three. This one I bought through GameStop, but these three... I got the I got them with the with the cases and the manuals and everything and they're in great condition. So I've been trying to build up my PlayStation 2 library and if you guys here I know you guys are going to get tired. I'm trying to pretty much build up every library in every in every console, but they're fun games. GI Joe uh, Rise of Cobra it's all right. That's that's it's like a, a twin stick shooter. Yeah, it's 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 yeah. like that, but it's all right. It's a Whatever, good game. Little... Blade, is, I haven't played Blade yet. Blade two. I okay. remember playing it a long time ago, but I don't remember if it's good or not. Maybe Pro not. It probably isn't, but I'd like to I'd like to try it anyway. Maybe Here's not because I don't remember. But um, Ghost Rider, I haven't played it. Is that based on the movie, um, or is it based on the cartoon? I think it's based on the right. movie. Do you see it in the back? I'm looking at it. So moving on, I got Armor Core Verdict Day. I've been wanting to play this one because again, I love mech games and I love the Armor Core series. I think it has great potential. I would love to see a modern uh, generation. Oh, that would be awesome. Yes, it would be awesome to see uh, a current generation Armor Core. As but, long as they don't do it like Power Rangers where they want to be transformer disgusting robots. Yeah, or as long as they don't throw so many loot boxes that they get uh, <laughs> everybody angry at them. like. Star Wars Battlefront, but anyway, I got these four, and I'll even add one more. Um, Superman. Superman. Yes. So. Is that any good? I don't know, but I saw it and I had to get it on the Amazon warehouse, and like you see it, very nice. Yeah, pretty good. Condition. It's in pretty good condition. And the interesting thing is we haven't gotten a good Superman game. No. You know, you know like, what? Obviously, Not Batman: The Arkham series was kind of good. That's it. That's done, more or less. What's uh? We haven't got a Superman game. No, there's a whole host of properties that could really make yeah, good games. Yeah, but if you notice, a lot of publishers that and developers they're greedy now. So it's like I'm kind of scared if they get an IP and a license yeah, like Superman. Yeah, because it'll be WB, and we've seen the crazy stuff like what they did with Shadow of War. Yes, exactly. So, but anyway, it's I'm gonna enjoy playing all these games during my Christmas break. But I haven't played this one. But if it's anything like the cartoon, I'll probably enjoy it. Um, so yeah, that's what I got for my PS2 titles. All right, and I'm gonna continue with the Switch. Like I said, there's a good amount of these. So to continue, we got Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, Mario Rabbids Kingdom Battle, Fire Emblem Warriors, and Sonic Forces. So I'll tell you right now, off the bat, a couple of these games, like this one, I would not have paid full price. I wouldn't have even paid half. That gives you kind of a, a hint what we're talking about, price range. Um, but you know, I, I ended up picking up because it was stupid not to and you know it's okay it has some it's basically a cool looking game if you don't touch anything when you do like the the segments where you're running forward but it's not that great of a sonic game i will it's tell you okay. this i will tell you this i kind of uh push player one to actually get this game because i'm glad you did now well yes because i wanted him to get it so i can play it and see if i want uh, I, I was interested in buying it which i ended up buying it either way actually all the titles that player one has with exception to one I I, ha I bought as well during this sale, so I don't have a Switch, but I, at least I have some games when, when I actually do get one, but this game, I will tell you, I don't know if they did things right because they wanted to or because um, they couldn't, but this is the right way to actually collect stuff, which every level, right. I played it on, on Player One's Switch, and with every level you do get like costumes and um, skins and so forth for your for your customized character and it just it's great not to be able to get hassled with loot boxes or, yeah, or, having or to microtransactions. Pay for microtransactions that's nice it's nice and and again like player one said it is kind of like a little dumbed down Sonic but there is some very cool mechanics as far as when he's running yeah it looks like and, you just leave it alone yeah <laughs> if, if you leave it alone it's, like it, it's very clip. it's very nice and again like I said I do agree I want to pay half for this so but I did get it cheaper so the one thing I will say is I don't think Sonic has a stigma of having horrible games there's been a lot of good games you know Sonic CD Sonic Colors Sonic Mania is great but what happened to Sonic Adventure 
I am waiting for that part three, that remake, that rehash, reboot, whatever you want to call it, of like a 3D Sonic adventure like the Dreamcast. Why have we not gotten one yet, man? That's I think what I'm waiting. Most for. of those people left. Maybe. All right, the other one is Fire Emblem Warriors. Again, it's another Warriors game. If you played them one, you've kind of played them all, just with different skins, different characters. Sometimes they're a little bit interesting, sometimes not. I don't think the Fire Emblem one is all that great, but it, again, it got it cheap. It was worth picking up. I'll play it at some point. Mario Rabbids, I've been hearing a lot about that, that it's a pretty good game. I'm a fan of the XCOM series, so it's, I decided to pick it up. Um, this one I got from Walmart, so I think it was 29 or something, but for a Switch game, that's still pretty good. So I'm kind of happy. Unfortunately, it does have a season pass, if I'm not mistaken, so I'm not sure what's in that. So I'll have to check that out. Xenoverse 2, I got that also on the cheap. So, quick thing, just so you know. Xenoverse 2 runs great on the, on the Switch. It's 30 frames a second, not 60 frames, which I, I think is constant 60 frames on console, I'm not sure. It but, is, it is. Okay, so, but, but it still runs great. I like having it portable. I, I, I think Xenoverse is a fun game. One thing kind of pissed me off, and this is Bandai being douches, in my opinion. So, when this game came out, and I didn't buy it for full price, I kind of feel bad for those that did, because when it came out at full price, it came out on full price on the, on the Switch, even though it had already been out since, I think, 2016 on the consoles. Beyond that, you don't get any of the DLC with this game. In fact, if you bought it the first month, you download it, You can download it free, which is all, all the Z original Xenoverse missions, and you can download a thing to unlock all the characters. That was only until October 30th. If you bought it after the first month, that's gone. That kind of pisses me off. That I think that's a that was them being dirty. They knew that the game, frankly, was too expensive. Fifty nine ninety nine. And here's what gets. And they you. waited for the. They know the, sales come in November, and that yeah, was it. And that's and that's the other part that I wanted to add. If you guys backtrack, you'll notice that sometime in November the sales started. Uh, yeah. Xenoverse started actually dropping its prices. Yeah, and beyond that. They release this, a couple weeks later they're like, hey, by the way, we're going to have a complete edition of the Xenoverse 2, including all, this, all the content from the season pass. So I'm not happy with that. I think that's a douche move. I feel left out because if I want to get the four, pa for the four packs or whatever they call them, I have to dish out $29.99, I probably will never do that. But regardless, for the price I got, I'm happy and I am having fun. There's something cool about the DBZ games, I think they're unique fighting games because you kind of feel like a badass. You feel like like Goku or Vegeta really kicking butt. That's nice about it. It's a different kind of fighting game. You do. And I will tell you that I played it on the Switch with Player One because he's like, oh, come here, try it. And I have had, had so much fun playing it. It's, it's great. I mean, it's fantastic. But anyway, now it's um, I want to talk to you guys about Vegeta. one of my favorite systems probably the best system I've ever owned because of so much that so much potential of course there, there is potential loss but I love the Vita I got Akiba's beat it came with a little plush animal or whatever I wasn't expecting it but I got it so that's a plus I got Hot Shots World Golf uh, took it in I hope I'm pronouncing it right part two uh, Metal Gear Solid HD, Dragon Hunter Alliance, and Assassin's Creed Liberation. Now, I got all these in a buy to get one free, so I didn't pay the prices that are listed on there. I got them cheap, but I love the Vita. I've been wanting to play the Metal Gear Solid series again on the Vita, even though I've played it many times, but I enjoy it. Dragon Hunter Alliance, I'm, I'm not expecting much, but I, I do know that you can play it with another person if they have a Vita so I'm hoping that player one does have it so I'm hoping that we can link up and play but if not it's kind of like a Diablo series um, kind of game so I'll enjoy it uh, took it in two I just put it in for a, a couple minutes and I played it and man I'm really loving it it's cool it looks cool uh, Assassin's Creed Liberation I haven't started it yet so I can't really say much well, about I played it. a little bit of it just to try it out Man, the resolution in that game, it, it's painful to the eyes. It's like at less than 480, whatever it was before 480p. It's disgusting, the resolution. I don't know what happened with that game. I don't know if there's a better HD well, version or what. I don't know why, because it's the best Vita game of, of E3. Oh, oh, wow, then there you go. But I put it in the Vita, and I, and I really freaked out. I'm like, what is this? It's just like 480p. Well, or less. It just felt blurry. It's like Vaseline on the screen. Well, I'm not expecting much out of Assassin's Creed. I mean, come on. <laughs> They've kind of killed the series, but it is. You are right. It's not. It's not like great 
uh, resolution. But Hot Shots World Golf, you know, it's a golfing game. Enough said. <laughs> and Akiba's Beat, uh, I actually am interested in playing this game. So I, I like, like part. Go ahead. I'm gonna burst your bubble a little bit. So part one, you, you, I know we talked about it before. You thought it was kind of cool. And me too. I liked it, which was Akiba's trip undressed yeah. or whatever. But this one's not a good one. No. 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 Akiba's beat's not good. Remember we talked it about it because I bought plush. it and I returned it. But it brings a plush. Well, that makes it good. It's just, it's just, it's not a good one. It's like the cheap. Same thing that we talk about these AAA companies kind of being cheap. A lot of Japanese companies have been doing that lately, which is doing these cheap part two, part three, part four iterations that have nothing to do with the original, and they're just kind of put together and, and shipped. So it's, it's not really that great. All right, but whatever. whatever. I but got it's, it's invite cool to get own. one free, cool so don't burst my bubble. If I, you know, <laughs> you, you want to be that way. See if I invite you to fucking to Christmas. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, guys. Pardon right. the language. I think you're gonna have to beat that out, dude. I'm trying to get sued. All right, I'm gonna put these six Switch games again. These are my last six uh, Switch games that I have here. I have Skyrim, Knights of Azura 2. By the way, I'm kidding, guys. Ah, right, yeah, the Super Bomberman. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey, Disgaea 5, Cinemora. I didn't buy them all at the same time. Uh, this one I picked up a, a while, uh, early or late October, but we hadn't done a pickup, so I wanted to pick it up. What a great game. I hadn't played it, and again, this was one of those games that was like 50 bucks when it came out or whatever, however expensive it was on the Switch versus a $10 you can get on Steam or less, but whatever. It runs great on the Switch, looks smooth and beautiful looking uh, side shoot 'em up game. Super Mario Odyssey, another pretty good Nintendo game. It's a good game, but extremely, extremely overrated game. There is, there are no bad guys. It's listen. Let me just put it this way: it's not Mario 64. It, it tries to be, and it is cool. There's a lot of nice things. There's great little gimmicks, and I enjoyed it. But it's not. The 10 out of 10, it's almost, it's laughable if, to really think about that. If you can look at stuff objectively, there's not much to do. It's basically a collection fest. And that's kind of weak, I think. Plus, the ending pissed me off. It was just stupid. All right, but whatever. This guy of five, I've never played this guy of See, five. I ordered, I ordered it from Best Buy, and I really can't wait to have a Switch and play it because this is the complete edition, so it has everything. Yeah. But... And I haven't really played part five. I played I the other played Disgaea five. series, but because there's such a grind fest, it takes a lot to. Yeah, to... Disgaea five is basically a grind fest that you're supposed to enjoy, but it's a grind fest. Yeah, it is a grind fest, and and when I, when we say it's a when I say it's a grind fest, I really mean it's a grind fest. I mean, you will literally pass your life on this game. Yeah, but I haven't so. played part five. I played the previous one, so maybe part five is not as no, much. It but I doubt that's it. That's part of the gimmick. That's that's what people like about it. All right, uh, Super Bomberman. Just kind of picked that up on the cheap. It's a little like kind of party game, Mario Party type game. It's a fun little game. It's more when you have people over, I think, where it's kind of fun. Um, next we have Knights of Azura 2. I picked it up because I was able to get it cheap. I'm not gonna open that probably for a while. The biggest reason being I haven't played part one. I have it on the PS4. But I haven't played it yet, so it's one of those games that I want to see. It's kind of like Tales type uh, action RPG. Lastly, Skyrim. So the I milk, had said to myself, the milk of the milky, because they have milked this game up oh yeah. so much. Selling it full price on the Switch—that's ridiculous. But I will tell you, and I know you were, what you were gonna say, but I'm gonna interject. Um, I'm surprised at how good Skyrim plays on your Switch. I love it. Now, what I was gonna say is, I had said to myself, I will not pick this up. With the Toys R Us sale, it was stupid not to pick it up, so I got it. But I loved it. I love it. I put down the PS4 version, and now more than ever, I am actually going to beat Skyrim. That's my goal, and I'm having a blast. I absolutely love it. It runs great in portable mode. On the screen, it looks a little bit crappy. It does. It looks like maybe a 360 well, version, but that's not what I'm playing the Switch for. Let's I'm be playing real, the guys. Switch on the go, and I absolutely blown away loving playing Skyrim on the go. It's I awesome. will tell you guys this. If you guys are expecting the Switch as a console, get that out of your mind, because yes, you can play it as a console, but in reality, the magic and the flavor is, after playing a uh, player, player one's Switch, it's on portable mode that's really what the switch is about you know what you changed my mind too we had this conversation 
I was really disappointed in the Switch. I was kind of mad. I was like, you know, this is kind of crappy, all this stuff. I'm when you told me the magic words, you're like, do not think of this as the next Wii U. Think of this as the sequel or the continuation of the 3DS. Now it changes things. If you approach it from the aspect of it's the next 3DS in line, all of a sudden, yeah, you know, it's pretty good. It's awesome to be playing well, BBZ the or reason why I said that, on the go. The reason why I said that because it's not, yes, it's a hybrid system, but in, in all reality, it's a portable system and that's what, it's, that's what people are going to play it as and that's what it should be considered. Now, with that said, there, I'm still disappointed in it because of all the, all the things that it lacks and, all, and, of course, the memory and so forth. But anyway, All right. I'll go, I'll got go some next. good ones. Got yes. some good ones yes. here. I got one more. Oh yeah, one more batch, and then I'm done. One more. Okay. So I got Guilty Gear X uh, Revelator. I got it from Amazon. It was seven dollars and fifty eight cents. So I got it, and I I love the Guilty Gear series. So <laughs> it was probably seven dollars and thirty eight cents like an hour later because they're horrible about that. Yeah, but. It is what it is. This is cool. This is cool. I got Kiwami because player one yes. has gotten it. And yes. I can't wait to play it. Those of you out there who haven't played it yet, highly recommend it. It can be a little slow in the beginning, but I think out of the at least the Yakuza I've played, that's the one that the story really gets to me. It's good. It's yes. Good. And I, I can't wait to play it as well after seeing player one um, play, play it for a while. But Tikkaden Kiwami, I got it again because I fell in love with Tikkaden 2 and all the other ones. So I got it. it. Like a remaster? I think, I think so. Yeah, I think it's the remaster. But okay. oh yeah, it, that's it, right. That's what they have. They say Kiwami for like the Japanese remaster. Yeah, so it's it's nice. Now this game, I will tell you that I've been having player one over, and we've been having fun with this game. If you bought it on launch, you got ripped off. Yeah. But if you bought it now, and I I, I got it for I think it was twelve dollars or thirteen dollars. And I will tell you, it is a good deal, especially if you want to play with friends. Oh yeah, it's it a is, blast. It's a blast to play this game. And as it was back then with the whole issue with the, I guess, the store and, and how they were making you pay, it wasn't worth it. But now, today, it's worth to play it because it is a fun game and the Diablo series is a, is a great title. Um, All right. You said so you had one more batch? I have one more batch. All right, let me do this. Now. You want me to go? No, 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 because I'll, I'll, I'll put these accessories. So with the Switch, I bought a bunch of accessories. Um, so you can kind of see. It's kind of silly. I don't know how much, you, how interested you guys would be in seeing this, but I did get a bunch of these kind of cheap. Um, so stuff that you got to kind of pick up for the Switch. You need to have a screen protector. That freaking dock is a killer. It will destroy your Switch. And even, the funny thing is, this is the next one I got, but the one, um, I put the screen protector and it had the screen protector has scratches from the dock on it. Thank God I had the screen protector on it because it'll destroy your switch. So you need to have it. And that, that's one of the things that I will tell you. Yes, it's a great system, but there is a lot of drawbacks. Oh, and yeah. That's one of the ones. Yeah, they, they went cheap in a lot of places. Yes. So even if Nintendo says no, you need a screen protector. No, you do. Um, then this there's some other stuff. I got a USB-C cable. I didn't have one before. So that's kind of just something I carry around. I got a, a power bank, 20,000 milliamp. Was kind of on the cheap for Black Friday. Got a couple game cases. Got a simple case because I think it was one ninety nine. It was stupid not to get. But um, I got this from from Walmart, which is kind of cool. Oh, that's you cool. Can show like click the button. Yeah. There oh, you go. cool. Kind of flips out. So no big deal. It's, it just carries six, but it's kind of like if you're on the go. Break it. And then lastly, I got this for four bucks. They just had it like in clearance at Walmart, and it's a case for eight games and two SD cards. So. Kind of some accessories I picked up. For the That's Switch. very cool. Very cool. I'll get out of here. All right, what do you got? So, to end the first part of our our video, I've got these games. Now, I'll start with Platius. I got this game after Player One got his, and I've been enjoying it. Now, there is some drawbacks because it looks like it does repeat. And there's not a lot short. of gameplay, yeah, short. but it is a little short. It's more like mastering it, but it's yeah, short. Yeah, so if I was paying full price, I would be pissed off, but I didn't, so I'm actually happy. Uh, Paper Mario Color Splash. I do have a Wii U, and I've been trying to get this game for a long time. I've always loved the Paper Mario series. I loved it on the 3DS. I even loved it back in the day. So it was on sale on Black Friday, and is that I got the last Wii U game, I think. 
I think so. The last I, official? I think it's the last official Wii U game. I haven't picked that up. I haven't picked it up. Yet. But how I'm much a, was it? Do you remember? It was actually twenty nine dollars. Okay, that's not bad. So it's not bad comparing that sometimes uh, you right now I think it's like forty five oh, used or whatever. Yeah. So it is what it is, but it's a good game. I, I think it's a good game. Now these two monsters. Yeah, normally I wouldn't be caught dead buying this game, but at 97 cents. What? Is that like yes. a GameStop clearance thing? Yes. Yeah, they do that. And okay. I got it for PC, so enough said. Wasteland 2, I got this one also for 97 cents, and it does include Wasteland 1, so. Oh, cool. And Wasteland's kind of a cool a cool game. I haven't had the chance to play it, but I picked it up. I think we did a pickups of it. Yeah. I picked it up on the PS4. It's yeah, like so an old school kind of strategy. So it is a fun Thanks. game, and ninety-two dollars for both of yeah, for that, three that's games. Yeah, that's, that's a steal. I mean, it's it is a steal, and I've actually enjoyed this game. I will tell you this much: consoles have nothing on PC, no matter what the Xbox One X says, PS4 Pro, or whatever. A PC will be dominate every single time, and these titles look amazing on the PC, or at least on my PC. But it looks great. I mean, it looks like a completely different game. Yeah, so, I bet. I bet. I've seen some of that stuff on PC. It's like you're looking two generations behind when you look at the PS4. Yeah, it's even like, some, even it, like we have. Um, you built that computer that that we that we mess around with the, that has like the old video card that's several years old. Yes, and it I have, still looks better than the PS4. I will tell you as much. If you guys know about PCs and video cards, I have a 7870. It's a very old card, but even that card plays The Witcher 3 at better resolution. And in higher settings than the PS4. Yeah, that card so, is like two years, three years before the PS4, right? I, I think it's. I think that card's going on eight years old. Yeah, man. So yeah. What are you playing on right now? I'm actually playing on two different cards. If you guys want to know, I'm playing on a RX 480 and a and a 1070. Both fantastic cards. Of course, one is AMD and one is uh, Nvidia, but. To be frank, I've actually enjoyed the RX 480 more than the 1070. However, it really depends um, because both cards will will max out the games, and both cards you you guys don't really. The reason why I have a 1070 is not because I wanted to spend a lot of money, but I actually got it as a I wouldn't say a hand me down. I got it kind of got it like a trade with a friend. He was selling his, and he also oh, wanted a cool. game, so I I gave him a game for that. Um, yeah, and it's I, a pretty good card. That that 1070, it's like it's more than a year old. Yes, and, and that 1070 will be better than you'll get on consoles for the next probably yeah, two you, iterations. You will more than be happy with a 1070, even an RX 480, which is about two to three hundred dollars. I'm more than happy. I'm maxing out games and I'm getting over 60 frames a second, and the games look fantastic. Yeah. On it, so it is. It is that if you're a PC gamer, you're way ahead of console as far as graphics and resolution. And in some cases, you could even play almost 4K with them. Not at 60 frames all, every game, and it depends on the game, of course. But you can you can reach each, reach up there. But cool. anyway, it is fun. So I guess that's part one. Yeah, that's part one. We'll have some more stuff. I, I'm waiting for a good amount of stuff still in the mail, so we'll be uploading that video. We'll probably have to wait till next week, I think, just because waiting for all the stuff to come in the mail. I know some of my stuff is coming in the next couple of days, so I guess so. Um, let us know what you guys think. If you guys enjoy these videos, uh, if you guys any, you guys have any suggestions, let us know as well. And I guess that's it. Yeah, this is player one, and this is player two. Signing out. Thanks for watching. Yeah, later, guys.